<laughs> you watch out, you little rascals. Wait till I catch you. Wow, did you see his face? Yeah, it was so easy to trick him. Shoot ship, shoot ship. Oops, got to go before I get into trouble. See you. Wait, I'm coming with you. It's just for the day. We need to help an old elephant who is rather ill. The trip is too long for Apu and Hita. It's awfully sweet of you to stay with them. No problem at all. I'll take care of them. Don't worry. Are you ready? Shall we play? Where? Play what? Mowgli, can you keep an eye on Q-Chip for me? Just until this evening, he's been awfully difficult at the moment. He refuses to listen. I'm in such a rush. I've got so much to do. I'll never manage with that kid under my roof. Thank you for your help. Oh, we'll have great fun with him. He has the best ideas for games. Yes. <laughs> 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 I cut that out, Tricky. <laughs> Tickles, stop. Don't you start to. Everybody calm down. How about going to the river? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I've been invited to an exceptional hunt. Can I leave Chota with you, Mowgli? <sighs> What a baby. The more the merrier. You can go ahead and hunt. Come along, Chota. <laughs> Chota, we've discussed this. You are too little to go hunting with me. You were so scared. Well, they could hear your teeth chattering right on the other side of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no! You two stop that! No fighting! And you, come back here! to look after these little monsters. I'm not coping very well at all. Where are their parents? They couldn't take care of them today, so they asked me to babysit. And those kids are driving you mad. Is that it? We'll sort this out, won't we, Bagheera? Yes, they'll be on their best behavior. Trust us. <laughs> now, children, calm down. Do stop running about like that. Now, will you stop? <laughs> I said, calm down. Let me see some self-control. You, come here. You, climb back down. Look, a morpho. <laughs> ah, all big cats come a cropper now and then. Uh, Chota, no fall down. Stop being such a baby. That's enough. Scram before I lose my temper. Uh-oh, hear that? We get in trouble just for talking. Hey, how about going to my place? No! We're going to play a game. I'll explain. If I say Mowgli says, you have to do what I say. If I don't say Mowgli says, you don't move. Got it? <laughs> Let's start. Mowgli says, raise your paw. Lower your paws. <laughs> Mowgli says, no one moves. Hurry! Go on, say it. Say Mowgli says, lower your paw. I can't keep my balance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, who cares? Come on, Apu, let's find some fruit. Apu! Peter, wait! Hey, wait! You can't go like that! Wait! <laughs> Come on, Grandpa. Bagheera says this is no time to take a nap. <sighs> Untie us immediately. Hey, Chota, cats don't do this to each other. <laughs> Tricky says lower your paw and run. 
I'm too old for this sort of nonsense. Wait till I get hold of them. As soon as I get a paw free, I'll whack those rascals' heads together. <laughs> Once I get you, you won't smell like jungle lilies, believe me! <laughs> get out of here! This is my territory! <laughs> Smell dreadful. I can still eat you up. No one wicks car without risk. Not help me! Help! Help! What do we do now? Come to me, you stink bum. Oh, your eyes are heavy. Now your lids are closing. Help! Help! Tender meat wandering about the jungle. And here you are, trapped. Wait till I get free. You'll see what a shame it is. Mowgli will bring them all back to me. All I have to do is wait. And once I'm done with those tasty starters, it'll be your turn. <laughs> I'm fed up running after you. We're going back to the others. But we were hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to eat mangoes without using your paws. <laughs> Let's see. Sheer corn! Say something to him. You're a tiger too. Uh, help us, Mowgli. Stay here. Mowgli says, don't move. And not a single sound. Let's see. Who shall I start with? Have you come to play with us, Shere Khan? You'll see. It's dead easy. Mowgli says, Climb up as high as you can! Last one on the ground loses! Shekhar loses! You lost! L lost! Vengeance will be dreadful. Next time I shall devour you one by one. <laughs> and so the giant crocodile had to return to the lake without the baby turtles. And he never ever came back again. Ah, here are your parents. Was everything all right? Yes, they were very, very good. Chota, big now. Big hunker. Of course you are, Chota. And no real show-off, like Masha. Good evening, my friends. Bye-bye. <laughs> the little ones aren't here. I've brought the mangoes. A present? For those rascals? They're not so naughty after all. Carl was in the process of strangling me, and they managed to set me free. <laughs> Enjoy your snack, Khajiit! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> What's the matter, Baggy? Are you coming to play or not? Are you sulky? No, it's just that Baloo is a real pain in the neck when he wants to be. Oh, he always does the teacher thing a bit, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, he had the cheek to tell me that I was lazy, when it's him who sleeps all the time. And you're sulking for that? He's always telling me, you should put on some Jimson weed essence because the yellowtail moth that's swarming in the jungle is very bad for your skin, man cub. <laughs> <laughs> you imitate him really well. There, get a whiff of this nice smell. Yuck! <laughs> oh, that stinks! <laughs> it's true that Baloo's not his normal self at the moment. That's because he's in love. <laughs> really? It wouldn't be with a big fat bear called Bella by any chance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they give each other little bear kisses? <laughs> Can you hear anything? No. What should I be hearing? Normally you can hear snufflings, growlings, but now nothing. A jungle with no noise is not natural. Come on! Hey, Rana! This is no time to be sleeping. Rana! Doesn't stink like he usually does. You mean he has a nice stink? <laughs> <laughs> if you think that old smoke is a nice stink, yes, he has a nice stink. Everything's still silent. Come on, we'll go and find Baloo. Baloo! Baloo! Bah, he's very busy elsewhere. At least like that, he's not on our backs all day. You're right. We'll find out what's happening without him. <gasps> you see, there is still someone making a noise in the jungle. What's happened to Parvo? Did you knock him out, Fula? I didn't do a thing. I came down from the tree to try and get away from that idiot, and I found Parvo like this. It's impossible to wake him up. I wasn't hounding her, I was chatting. He smells smoke, just like Rana. Leave him alone, let him die in peace. He's not dying, he's... Mowgli, he's going to live, isn't he? Of course he is, Mina, he's just very tired, that's all. You'd be better depending on a real peacock. One who's strong, very much alive, and rather magnificent. <laughs> Second time we've seen this in the jungle. It's strange. We were in a tree too and we're wide awake. That means that everyone who was on the ground has become a victim of... The smoke? Of what? I don't know, but... Come on, Bagheera. We'll go and find out. Take your time. Mina and I have some things to talk over. Please hurry, Mowgli. <sighs> What's that? Maybe it's Baloo. Oh, well, our best enemies. There's that smoky smell again. Look at that. I bet they were talking about you. Which gives me an idea. <laughs> now they're all tied together. I wonder how long they'll be able to stand each other. <laughs> Chanda! She smells just like the others. Where's Chota? Just a minute. If Shere Khan's not asleep, like us, he'll attack defenseless animals like Chota. We've got to stop him from taking advantage of the situation. It'd be perfect if he were asleep too. Oh! Oh! I thought it was Shere Khan. She doesn't smell of smoke like the others. What happened to you, Darcy? <laughs> oh, she probably forgot to flap her wings. I... Uh, aren't you asleep? I've seen some animals asleep around here somewhere. And have you seen Shere Khan? Uh, yes. No, yes, yes. He was walking. I can't remember where. On the mountain. Whatever, he wasn't asleep anyway. That sounds right. He was up high and wasn't affected like the others. We've got to solve this mystery before Shere Khan starts a massacre! Did you see where the smoke was coming from? Look, I don't understand why you stick by that wimpy peacock who goes to sleep all the time. It's not his fault! Right. I'll count to three and if he doesn't wake up, we'll have a kiss. One... You must be joking! 
king. Two, three. There, that's it. He's had his chance. Now it's time for a kiss. No! Huh? One kiss, Mina. Just one kiss, please. Stop, please. Just one kiss. <laughs> was coming from. I think so. <gasps> What's the matter with this peacock? If you heard him, you'd better watch out for Mowgli. Mowgli? He's coming back to save Pavo. His meat is sure to be tastier than this moldy peacock. Ha! Huh, I agree with you there. And where is Mowgli? Don't think I'm going to tell you. <sighs> He's going to find out where the smoke is coming from. So that's what put these stupid animals to sleep. Right. Smoke can only come from one place. What are you doing? Leave him alone! That smell! It's coming from over there! From the human village! What if it was that smoke that put the animals to sleep? Quick, Baggy! Protect yourself! Oh, I think I've breathed some in! <coughs> I recognize the smell! It's Jimson weed! That's what Baloo made me put on my skin to keep off the yellowtail moth! Well, the humans are burning it, probably for the same reason. Except that the smoke puts the jungle animals to sleep, but the smell of the essence just keeps them away. Uh, Quick, Bagheera! You're starting to fall asleep! You've got to get away from the village! <gasps> well, man-cub, have you found where the smoke is coming from? Yes, and you found a way of hunting sleeping animals. How brave! It looks like your friend Bagheera isn't feeling too well. He's going to have a hard time defending you. Bagheera. Uh, the smoke has stopped! Wait a bit, Mowgli. I need a rest. Oh! Chota? 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 Bagheera, thank you for finding my little Chota. a girlfriend now. Ah, you overthink sometimes, Mowgli. <laughs> hey, I don't get it. Didn't we have a great plan for trapping Mowgli? I think it's Mowgli who trapped us. I told you we shouldn't all meet here. You coward! I'll never kiss you! Parvo's in Shere Khan's stomach, so you don't really have a choice. <laughs> ah! Surprise! <gasps> oh. It's a good job you arrived. Your Mina wouldn't leave me alone. Ah! <laughs> That's a good idea. You never know, the moths might come back. And I asked Rangu, who lives near the human village, to warn us as soon as they light another fire. At the first sign of smoke, everyone must either climb a tree or leave. That way, no one will fall asleep. What's the matter, Baloo? Nothing. Well, there is something. Somebody put some flowers in my paws. <laughs> 
Well, didn't she like them? No. Bella's allergic to flowers. <laughs> <laughs> For the last three nights, these bugs have been eating me alive, and I can't seem to catch them. Yes, well, me too. Something stung me. And you, Baloo? That's the beauty of nature. The sun sets, the moon rises, the little critters feed off the big ones, and for someone who understands this, a sting is like a little kiss. Thanks, Baloo, my philosopher friend, but I'm fed up with the wonders of nature. Hmm. These don't look like any insect bites I've seen. Mowgli, would you mind fetching some ginger roots to soothe poor little Bagheera's itching? <laughs> What's up, Ricky? You moving house? I'm not moving house. I'm moving away. I've had it up to here with being attacked every night. You're not going to let a few little bugs scare a big, strong fellow like you. I'm not scared. I'm leaving this hostile jungle that doesn't like nice guys like me. But everybody likes you, Ricky. Ha! Huh, you too? I wallow in the mud, I scratch against the trees, but nothing works. They attack all the same. Who's they? The monsters, the assassins, the bloodthirsty. You're right. Come on, we'll leave together. Don't be so hasty. With Baloo, we'll solve the problem. In fact, I'm going to pick some ginger root. That should relieve everyone. This isn't great, but it's not bad either. Oh, that feels great. Baloo, I thought of a trap for the insects. Want to see? Hmm. The sap from the banana leaf will trap any bugs that try to sting you. And that's how you plan to trap them? <laughs> I mustn't fall asleep. I mustn't fall asleep. I mustn't fall asleep. I mustn't fall asleep. <gasps> no! I fell asleep! Help! Help! Oh! Shere Khan! Tabaki! What are you doing here? And what happened to you? Is it something you ate that made you so tiny? This is our normal size. <laughs> That's funny. It's not funny at all. We're stuck here and it's not pleasant. So if you would kindly free us. Hold it. You mean you're not the real Shere Khan and Tabaki? We're the little people of the jungle. We were sent out by our leader. Quiet, you fool. Tabaki dares insult Shere Khan. Now that's something. Listen, young man, if you would kindly get us out of here, we'll all go our separate ways and... Wait a second. Are you the insects who attack us every night? Now he knows we're done for. Shut up! It's a misunderstanding. For the last three days, you've been attacking animals in the jungle, and you call that a misunderstanding? Explain it to him. I don't want to die. You swear you won't hurt us? Promise. So, tell me why you're doing that. The idea is to force you to leave the jungle. I don't understand. Can't we live together? Our master won't allow it. He wants to be the only ruler in the jungle. A dictator. That's ridiculous. I'll go talk some sense into him. Where is he? Can you tell me? It's not a good idea to talk to our master. <laughs> what will he do? Attack me? I just want to chat with the little master of the jungle. You won't have time to chat. You'll die first. Really? Your little master will kill me. <laughs> Let me show you something. Try to move this rock. No. Ah. Ah. Oh. So, are you taking me to see your master? Okay. If you succeed in convincing our master to stop attacking you, frankly, I'm all for it. Show me the way. I'll take care of transportation. I'm scared. What if our master spied us and knows we're coming back with a giant? If that's the case, we must be very careful. He could have set a trap for the giant. <laughs> Baloo, is that you? Oh, this is incredible! I'm so happy! I don't know who you're talking about, and there is no reason to be pleased considering your fate. It's just, you look like my friend Baloo. 
I am not your friend. You are my prisoner. Ouch! Uh, but I've come here to make peace and find some common ground. <laughs> How dare you, evil giant! No one laughs in my presence. You shouldn't tickle me like that as well. What? Where? Who tickled you? Who? Sorry, Master. I was just sharpening my claws a little. I was just sharpening my claws a little? Do you want me to sharpen my claws a little on you? I didn't do it on purpose, Master. You didn't do it on purpose? This just gets better. You refuse to take responsibility? Perfect! Arrest her! You were having fun with the prisoner? Not at all. I just scratched his... Conniving with the enemy! <laughs> You know what that will cost you. You can't condemn her just because she's tickled me. I'm certain you'd prefer her fate to yours, but maybe agonizing for hours suits you better. Let's be reasonable. We can talk this over. If you don't have a place in the jungle, I can make room for you. We don't need your permission. We're in charge now. We'll take what we want, and you will, one way or another, disappear. We are the lords of the jungle. That's a losing battle. You may have me, but there are all the others. I have my sources, you know, and some are already leaving the jungle. Enough talking with him. Let's get this over with now. You're as crazy as you are small. Say what you will. You haven't got long now because... <laughs> I'm locked up and you go free. That's not fair. That's because you're not very smart. You could have said you wanted him to suffer. We told Master that we brought him to the Forbidden City on purpose, so we could kill him. Because of you, I can't escape. It's not because of us. It's our Master. He's so cruel and bloodthirsty. We must get rid of him. He's gone too far. The panther must go, and only the giant can help us. But now that he's a prisoner, we're sure to fail. It's too dangerous. I give up. Only the giant can save me, and he can save us. You must help him break free. If you refuse before I die, I will tell the master you're traitors. You didn't tell me your leader was out of his mind. And he looks just like Baloo. By the way, I must warn you that our master has developed a venom, a very special venom. The venom drives you mad, and apparently after you've swallowed it, you think you're an ant! If someone had told me that Shere Khan and Tabaki would save me from Baloo... Because you think they can save you? I never really liked those two. I was certain they would betray us. Since they're so in love with their giant friend, we won't keep them apart. We'll make sure you remain very, very close. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. I'm too young to die. <laughs> After this frugal meal, you will try a new beverage. You shall discover the pleasures of being an insect. But I'd have to agree to open my mouth. That's not a problem. You'll open it, believe me. Don't worry. I'll keep my mouth shut. Tickle him! <laughs> 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 Don't worry, I'll save you! He's not his normal self, Master. I'm not going to swallow you! Hmm, you're right. He is acting strange, but that won't stop me from devouring him. <laughs> Calm down, Mowgli. We're here and everything's fine. And Minibaloo wasn't like you at all. Turn over. You and the others were all bitten by recluse spiders. I found a remedy, but you have to stop fidgeting. It was really crazy. Uh, Baloo, what are you spreading on me? Among other things, a crushed spider. But you said we were all bitten by spiders. And you're healing us with spiders? <laughs> well, yes. That's how nature works. We all have some poison and the antidote in us. And do we all have many bad guys deep inside us, too? If you tell me about your dream one more time, I think I'll show you the mini Bagheera within me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. 
Wow! I had this strange dream. I was really tiny and Mowgli was an insect. <laughs> Here, no, the trick for getting away from a python. How about you, Chota? <laughs> Chota? Uh, yes, Baloo? Hmm. He didn't hear you because he was trying to find the answer, weren't you, Chota? Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> In that case, I'll show you. I need a liana. You've got to listen a bit. It's important. Baloo's telling us what to do if we're attacked. No, 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 Chota. Meet Tiger. Grr, grr, grr. <laughs> Big Tiger's okay, but for little shrimps, I'm not too sure. Chota, scary. Big Tiger. Mowgli, I need your help. Imagine this is a python rolled around me. What is important <laughs> is to free an arm to tickle the snake between the seventh and eighth <laughs> scales. Uh, oh, for the love of a bear. I bet you can't see much now. Oh, uh, yes, I, I can see perfectly well without them. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Mowgli. This fake python seemed a little too attached to me. <laughs> ah! My glasses! <laughs> <laughs> Try these. They might help. Ah. Hey, where's Chota? <gasps> hmm. <laughs> You're scared of Chota. <laughs> Chota! 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 Chota, hello! Chota! Huge tiger. <laughs> it was definitely Chota. Well, he still roared very loudly, and I hadn't done anything to him. Maybe Chota's trying to prove to everyone that he can scare them even though he's little. He's going to get himself in a lot of trouble. We'd better find him quickly. Bagheera and I will go this way. Let's go this way. <laughs> I wish I had, but it's a stone that I thought was a turtle, and now I can't digest it. But I'll tell you what, it's not nice to wrongly accuse someone or to step on their belly. Uh, I'll go get Blue Mowgli. Uh, don't move. No chance of that. Don't worry. I won't. <laughs> Stop that tickles. Stop that tickles. <coughs> Ah, <sighs> oh, that's better. Thank you, Mowgli. Thanks, Darcy. It was you who made me think of Blue's lesson. I know. I'm looking for him, too. That furry nuisance has ruined my hunt. I'll take care of him. Hajit! Leave Chota alone, or you'll have to deal with me. Mowgli, that's not going to help. He knows how to climb trees, too. 
Badgers can't stand the smell of this fruit when it's ripe. Haji came from that direction. Chota! Chota! Tiger, spare me. No, Chota, no hurt little ones. Oh, why, thank you, noble feline. It is true, you are very frightening. Oh, tell me, would you be able to frighten a meanie who is bothering me? Oh, but perhaps he wouldn't be afraid of you. Yes, we'll be scared of Chota. It's who? <laughs> He stole some of our feathers. Well, he did save us from Harjeet's attack at the same Vera. I wanted to thank him, but he went off with Tabaki. Shota went with Tabaki? Which way did they go? That way. Come on, Darzi, quickly. Where, Mimi? There. <laughs> Why? Brought me this little runt, Tabaki. Wait till you hear this, Master. It's a scream. He thinks he's the terror of the jungle. I thought you would like to inform him that that spot is already taken. And you won't have to hunt your own lunch. <laughs> he's got guts. It's touching. He reminds me of myself when I was his age. Come on, then, little kitten. Show me how you attack. Uh, bah! <laughs> Not bad at all for a little pup like you. There, I was thinking I'd get the leftovers. Patience, Tabaki. I like to play with my food before. <laughs> That's enough nostalgia for me. Now I'll show you how a real tiger attacks. And I'll show you how Baloo taught us to deal with low lives like you. Really? I'm curious. What was that big old oaf of a bear able to teach you? This! Ah, my whiskers! Baloo <gasps> say do that? <laughs> no way! I'll show you what he really said. <laughs> to know how to escape from the claws of danger? Sorry, Baloo. Chota, listen now to Baloo and lessons. It's okay, Chota. But you're going to have to give me a lesson. How to escape a big, angry bear! Roar! <laughs> 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 to 
go now. It's going to be very hot. My old bones never make a mistake. Ooh. Boy, you're ready for the elephant cemetery. I'm an old wreck. <laughs> but not as bad as that rascal of a brother of mine. Portia, he must be at least 200 years old. <gasps> but he's still in good shape. I know I should have gone earlier, but when your memory starts failing, well, it won't be long before I leave. I haven't told the children. They won't even realize I've gone. <laughs> Hello, Gazzini. You're up and about early this morning. I was looking for you. Hati went this morning. He's gone to see his brother. He's forgotten his birthday again. Better late than never, eh? And it just came at the right time. I wanted to use the opportunity to give him a surprise. Let me guess. You're going to celebrate your arrival at Sioni, is that it? Hati has probably forgotten, but on that day he gave me a lotus flower. So, it'll be a real surprise for everyone. I wanted to do it here in the classroom. What do you think? Excellent idea. Consider this your home, too. Oh. Who knows about it? Only Apu and Hita. I love surprises. As for Bagheera and Mowgli, I'll make sure they're not here. Uh... Uh-oh, be careful. There's no worse chatterbox than Darcy. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> My poor Baloo. You should do something about it. Oh, you're right. I'm really not well. I'll send Bagheera and Mowgli to get me some time. <laughs> do you think she heard? All the jungle will know about my terrible illness by now. <laughs> no, but that's too easy. I can find everything. All right, Mr. Clever Panther. We'll see just how good you are. There. Who do you see here? Oh, easy. He just stole Marsha's bananas and is hiding in the classroom. Impressive. <laughs> <gasps> Baloo, are you all right? Not too good. <coughs> I've got a really heavy cold. Do you think you could go and get me some time? The gourd's full of it. I checked yesterday. Yes, well, you need glasses, Mowgli. It's completely empty. Stop it. This really isn't the moment. <coughs> oh, but you really must go and get me some time. I'm sorry. I know it's a long way, but it might be contagious. Eh, uh, what? I'm scared stiff of illness. You ought to go with them to Parky. A time cure wouldn't do you any harm. <coughs> uh. Go easy on the time. You'll make yourself ill. It's didn't you know? Well, Hattie, uh, Blue, I'm not a witch. He's got a nasty cold for a hundred years at least. But it's too old. I'd never have believed it. He seemed fine and then, bang, he doesn't have much longer. It's me who's telling you. Blue just needs honey, time and rest, that's all. If I were you, I'd be worried. An illness that comes just like that with no warning. <sighs> we'll all get it. I'm telling you, and not just the old ones, either! That's enough now. Go and cheer up somewhere else. You're scaring everyone to death. Ah, OK. There's something really serious happening and no one cares. If that's the way it is, I'm going. Yeah, that's it, and good riddance. Oh! Ugh! Don't come any nearer. And what's that colour? There's some kind of... Bug in the jungle. Baloo is ill. Hearty too. I saw him leave on his last legs toward the elephant cemetery. Poor Gachini was in tears. Now what's all this about? Explain yourself. For a start, it's all true. It's the time that Bagheera and Mowgli went to get to cure everybody. I think it's an epidemic. And how do I know if all this is true? If you don't believe me, go and check. That's just what I'll do. 
and if those old crocs are really in a bad way, it'll be child's play to get rid of them for good. everything and he ran off as fast as he could. In which direction? If we know where Hattie is, we can maybe arrive before Shere Khan. This morning, Hattie took the track to the Blue Mountain. I saw him. When Gajini told Baloo, he said it was very serious. He hugged Gajini. It was so sad. Can you believe it? Hattie in the Elephant Cemetery? But there's something not right. It's not the right direction. The Blue Mountain is where Hattie's brother, Pasha, lives. He must have gone to visit him. The shortcut through the thorns. Shere Khan can't take it. He's too fat. We can maybe get to Hati before him. No, wait! You've got to stay here. Imagine that Shere Khan changes his plans and comes to attack Baloo instead of Hati. If Baloo really is ill, I couldn't do anything to stop him. I don't know what's going on anymore. What am I going to tell everyone? Nothing. You're coming with me. I don't want you telling things to the entire jungle, and I may have a mission for you. Look, it's all askew. So how about the cold? Did they believe it? They swallowed the whole story. We're too late. I knew it. <gasps> <laughs> oh, he's asleep. Hearty. Hearty, wake up! <sighs> I'm fine, Mowgli. Let me sleep. So maybe it's not an epidemic? But I saw Baloo, who was all right, and then a second later fall ill. I just don't get it. Stop! The most important thing is Shere Khan. Are you sure that he's coming here? I saw him leave with my own eyes. He wants to check that Hearty is really dead. I think I know how to convince Shere Khan it's true. Pretty good, right? But if your plan works, Shere Khan will rush to the friendly area. Yes, that's my plan exactly. Take that to Baggy. He's the only one who can understand it. Quick! Oops! Look out! Chatterbox! <laughs> Don't worry, Hattie isn't dead. Mowgli too. Uh, neither. I'm looking for Bagheera. What are you talking about? Are they in danger? Where? Aren't you ill anymore? He was pretending. But why did you do that? Uh, Bagheera! I'll explain everything later. But first, we've got to hide. Uh, uh, Shere Khan, please help me. Uh, I don't want to die all alone like Hati. Take me back to Baloo. You must be joking. So I will be contaminated too? As for the sick old bear, I'll make him into mincemeat. The chatterbox was right. All my enemies finished. Wiped off the face of the jungle. The kingdom is all mine. Anybody here? We're on, so I can tell them the good news. <laughs> Acclaim your new and only lord. Is this your kingdom? It's full of sickness. Everyone is dead. <laughs> Scoundrels! <gasps> it's Hottie's ghost! Who are you to so trouble the kingdom of the dead? <laughs> Right, everyone. All clear. The tiger's gone. You can come out now. I'm sorry about all these secrets. We just wanted to give Hattie a surprise. I never imagined that it would put you in danger. Without you, I'd never have been able to warn everyone of the danger. But just a minute. Without you, all those rumors would never have existed. <laughs> I lied as well. In fact, I didn't go to see Pasha. Oh, 
you didn't forget. Don't hurts. It's sore and my dose is running. Ow! I'm tired of listening to you sniveling. Stop it! I'm hungry. Go and fetch me something to eat. But I can't. I can't smell a thing and I'm buzzing in my ears like a whole hive of bees. <sniffs> Honey! Baloo! He could cure me! That's right. Go and beg Baloo for a cure, you wimp. You really have no self-respect at all. Have you seen these? What's the matter with these mini bananas? It's even worse than I thought. You know that several swarms of wild bees have disappeared. Really? So it's bees who make fruit? That's new. Come on, don't be silly. You know that it's the pollen that bees transport from flower to flower that allows the fruit to develop. Yes, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm just upset by the whole thing. Oh, I can't smell anything anymore. I need some honey. Well, hello to you too, Tabaki. I see you've got a heavy cold. That's nothing serious. I've just what you need. So it seems there are no more bees. Good riddance. I hate being stung. But don't you understand anything? No more bees means no more honey. Huh? What do you mean, no more honey? What about my cure? We're not bothered about your cure. Without bees, you won't have any honey at all. So if you keep on talking nonsense like that, you'll have your cold for a long time to come. Is there anything wrong? The honey stocks have gone right down. We really must get some more. Uh, Come down, Tabaki. There's enough for you. Let's go and find out where the bees have gone. Can we go to the hive, where there's my favorite mulberry bush? Please? ba ta ta ba 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 Kiki! It's crazy. I was really ill and suddenly I'm like new again. Thanks, Baloo. I'll leave you now and say hello to the hive for me. La la la. <laughs> hmm. Oh no, my mulberry bush! It's a disaster! It should have been covered in berries, shouldn't it? For the love of a bear! It's even worse than I imagined! Hmm. Oh, listen to this! Ta ta ba ba kiki! <laughs> I'm cured! Stop, you fool! You've given me your germs! Because of you, I can't eat anything, and my throat is on fire! Do you think that I'm going to crawl to Baloo like you and beg for some honey? Me, Shere Khan! Ah, uh, no. Besides, he's gone away to get some more honey. Hey, I saw where they were going. Now, I've got my sense of smell back. I could find the spot and bring you back some honey. What do you think? Sure, and you're going to bring it back in your little paws. Is that it, idiot? I'll get you for this. I've got to eat. I've no choice. I need that honey. You've got to take me to that bee's nest now. No! No! My bee's nest! I've been taking great care of this nest. Where have the bees gone? And who made them leave? Look at these claw marks. Those certainly aren't yours. Oh no, you're not going to like this. It's the old queen. Hmm. You taught me that there is always the larva of a queen ready to be born. Of course, you're right. Look for a cell that's bigger than the others. Honey, honey, honey. There are no honeycombs with larvae. There's nothing here, but all is not lost. We'll have to check every bee's nest in the area. Hmm. What's that? They look like droppings. A badger? Oh, oh jeez! I'm going to tell that badger a thing or two. I can't believe it. Where's all the honey gone? Mm, delicious! Do you think that the bees have found refuge here? It's not that simple. 
A few bees do not make a nest. You must have a queen. For the love of a bear, what a disaster! And not before time, get me out of here! Not so fast. Was it you who destroyed all the bees' nests? So what? You're not the only one who likes honey. Now I can't get out. My burrow shrunk. Are you going to get me out of here or not? All right. I wanted a nest all of my own, so I took a honeycomb with some lava. Yes, to make a nest work, you need workers. What's the matter with that? And the honeycomb is still in the burrow, is that it? With the workers outside? You glutton! If the bees can't enter, they can't make honey or feed the larvae. Blah, 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 blah! You can't think of everything. I like sweet things. So what? At first, my little honey factory worked well. So you taste some, and then a bit more, and soon you're stuck in your burrow. In that case, stay there. Do you realize that you're endangering the entire forest? No. We've got to free him. I'll explain. You aren't affected by bee stings, so only you can recover the swarm. There, with all that pollen, no bee will be able to resist you. They'll follow you to the ends of the earth. For the love of a bee, that's amazing. If the future queen is at the bottom of the burrow and you find the hive, maybe the bees will be able to create a new colony? Your trap's working really well. It looks like the bee's trying to say something. That's how they communicate between themselves. If she follows me into the forest, she might attract one of the missing swarms. Well, you're taking your time. Have you understood? You find out where Baloo's going to put the new bee's nest, I'll deal with Mowgli. And when my throat is better... <laughs> I'll swallow him whole. More to the left! Not the jungle's best digger, are you? <laughs> Ow! My throat! Listen, Glutton, is there a bit of honey left at the bottom of your burrow by any chance? <laughs> when you're hungry enough. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 there you are. Where did you get to? Ah, ah, oh, 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 oh. What are you doing here? Are you alone? Tell me, where's Shere Khan? Oh, oh, tell them to go away. Shere Khan's at Hajit's burrow. We just wanted some honey for his throat. Mowgli's in danger. We're going back to Hajit. You'd better run if you don't want to be stung. What's that noise? How do I know? Maybe it's the larva who are fed up of eating honey. <laughs> Maybe it's the queen hatching out. Get out of the way. Hey, mind what you're doing. Don't forget this is my burrow. You're taking up all the room. Shere Khan, the day has not dawned when you will catch Mowgli. <laughs> Are you just going to let the swarm and its new queen go? How are we going to find them again? Let's let them establish a new colony first. Then we'll go and look for them. When you've stopped playing about, get me out of here! 
Just a minute, Hajit stays where he is. I feel that he needs some time to think things over. Don't worry, and I'm sure that the glutton isn't hungry. Are you, Hajit? You'll be able to leave your burrow in a couple of days. You'll have lots of time to think about the consequences of your incredible selfishness. Is he serious? As serious as a fantastic bear can be. <laughs>